Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, to this week, you have uh, problems at six, and uh, it consists uh, only of theory questions because uh, you have a project deadline next week, and we want to give you more time uh, for your questions about project uh, on the exercise sessions. So come to exercise sessions. We're happy to answer you your questions. Okay, so in this exercise, you have uh, three problems. So first, you have uh, some questions about convex functions and uh, strictly convex functions. Uh, and uh, you are asked to prove uh, some uh, properties for these convex functions. And these properties are useful for machine learning, uh, like functions usually to prove uh, to prove a convexity. So, so first, like you have some affine function, and uh, you ask to prove what is convex. Then what the sum of convex functions is convex, and then uh, like what the composition of convex uh, and increasing function is convex, and then uh, like what the composition of convex function and affine function is convex, and uh, the last question is you ask to prove what uh, for strictly convex function you have only unique minima. Like for example, the second property is like very useful for machine learning because this is how your loss function usually looks like. It's just a sum of individual losses over data points. And this is also like of this form, you have linear regression, logistic regression. So it's useful to know these properties. Then you have second question about multi-class classification. So you have, uh, so before in the class, you saw a multi-class classification only for two classes. So you called it binary classification. And here uh, you have uh, K categories. So, and you, you, you will not, your label could be either one of them. And uh, we want to like fit some linear model, like uh, similar to logistic regression to this model. So what we have, so instead of just one set of parameters, as we had uh, for binary classification, we have k set of parameters, wk. And uh, what we want, and each wk uh, corresponds to its own class. And uh, for every data point xn, we take the scalar products with each of these uh, double, each of these parameters, and we look for which class this one is bigger, and this will be our assignment for the class. However, we want to make it, uh, so if we just take max, this function is not so good because it's not differentiable and uh, it's not giving you probability distribution over classes. So what usually people do is they use this softmax function, which is given like this. So this softmax function in the end gives you probability distribution. So you have uh, a fixed data point xn and the probability of this data point to come from the class from the category K is given by this expression. So you like on the top, you have exponent and uh, in the denominator, you have some scaling factor, which is, so the scaling factor is the same for different, so for all the classes, it's the same. And so what changes with changing class is only the top part. And uh, because this exponent is uh, monotonic, so you, you have this correspondence, what, what have had bigger initial scalar product, the same class has bigger like final probability. And uh, it's also easy to verify what these probabilities uh, of like for, if you sum over classes, it sums up to one, just because if you put here sum, right? Because this one is the same for all the classes and here you sum, you, you get exactly the same sum on the top and in the bottom, so it's like, Cancels out to one, and uh, and uh, then you also like as in logistic regression, you assume what uh, samples coming independently, and uh, you you can write your joint distribution as a product of individual distributions of uh, probabilities of every data point, and uh, in this question you asked uh, to derive log likelihood when the gradient with respect to WK and prove what this log likelihood is a convex function. 
Okay, and uh, in the last uh, in the last question, you asked uh, to work with this uh, mixture of linear regression, linear regression, and uh, so instead of having just so what you have, you have uh, k mixture components. So, and every mixture component has its own uh, w k from which this data came came from like where distribution so so how is this data like your data set if and pairs how is it like if, if you assume it comes from this normal distribution how would it look like it would look like uh, on this picture okay uh, so so this is for example with w1 this is w2 and your data would have like would be like normal around these lines basically and now it's quite clear like if you want to fit uh, your linear model one linear model is not good because for example if you fit just one linear model here for this data it will look like this line in the middle and uh, it's clearly not a good fit for this data so you want to use like fit actually k linear models to this and then you hope to like kind of uh, get a good predictor in the end and then you have several questions uh, for this model. So like finally to find this maximum likelihood estimator from which you can find this parameter, the parameters W and P. And uh, then uh, like you also need to prove some uh, properties of this function. Like you need to see if it's jointly convex or not this likelihood estimator. And then you need to see if this model identifiable. So it, does it give all this, uh, like if your data goes to infinity, does it give all this the same uh, parameters, W and P? Okay, uh, this is all exercises for this week. And uh, we're happy to answer all your questions uh, on the exercise sessions. <laughs>